Hey, kia ora. Helen Brums here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Oh, we've got some cool stuff to show you guys today. Oh, that fits. Awesome. Um, <laughs> how's your fun Friday been? Has it been exciting? Come on. I'm, I need you up here, little one. Come here. Up. Come on. You want to come up or do I have to bribe you? Um, so how's your fun Friday been? What fun things have you got planned for this weekend? Good girl. Thingy my bob's up there again. Here you go. You can have a treat. Bribery and corruption at its finest. Treats, puppy. And no, she's not getting all of these. <laughs> it was just easier to grab this in a handful. <laughs> so, how has your fun Friday been? Has it been super fantastic and sparkling? What fun activities are you doing this week? Please let us know in the comments below. We're super excited because um, last week Mailbox Power announced a new product. Is it last week? I think it was last week. And, um, and it was really, really cool. And I thought, oh my gosh, Zephy's going to love this because it's going to match her harness. And she doesn't have her harness on, but it's definitely going to match her collar, which she's got on. And they just bought out these new um, three-in-one. They call them, well, hang on, I'm going to get the right name here. The Easy Walker three-in-one. Let's put it in. So what it is is that, and I've undone this one so it can be seen. So this is the little pouchy thing. You have the little handle here. You have this little handle here, and then this has the leash on it to just clip on here. And the cool part about this is if you're sort of like, oh, we're going, no, you stay there. Oh, I get, to, I get to keep you here this way. Um, so this cool little pouch, okay, I'll take the, you're going to agree to have to stay here? I've got treats. Okay, good girl. Um, so this little bag that comes with it, now on the back, it's got a place for your poop bags to go. And the poop bags don't come with the small one and you just open the zipper and put the, the roll in here and you just pull it out through the little hole um the strap can actually you undo the velcro and the strap whoop, i'm going to undo this velcro piece down the bottom here too um you can actually wrap this wrap the leash around and then it hooks onto here hang on i need two hands for this operation and it hooks onto here and you use this little strap here to hold that in place then you close up the handle here and now you've got a little type of handbag thing isn't that the coolest thing and then you have this piece here and you can use it for putting treats in or if once you've used the once you've used one of the little bags on the back here you can put it in here until you get to a place where you can dispose the bag and then it has a little zipper piece here that goes into this mesh where you can you know, like, I don't think my keys will fit in here. Let's see. My keys fit. Yeah, my keys fit. You know, and I can put my keys in there. And a whole little bag, complete with poop bag, complete with a little place there for treats or whatnot. And, um, but this is the small size. This is for up to 40 pounds. Now, they only said they had small and large. I thought, well, I don't know which one Zephy's going to want. Um, and uh, so I got both. So you get to see the large one as well. So this is the small, which does up to 40 pounds, and this is the large that does over 40 pounds. So you can see the size difference. See? Big difference in size. Now this one is cool too. Hey, with my model. Come here, Zef. Wait. Come on, back up. Good girl. Look at the camera. Say hi. Come here. Look over here. Good girl. <laughs> now this one again has the the Velcro handle piece here, but this, like I said, is larger. And it's got a large piece here where you could, if you wanted to, put your phone. So I'm gonna pack it all up for you. Oh, I didn't grab your, um, your bowl, did I? Then it has um, two pockets on the back. This one already comes with a, this one I discovered, has a roll of um, poop bags in here. So we'll just get that organized later on and put it through the hole. Then it has um, this other little pocket here. I thought, oh, what could I put in there? And then I thought, I know, we have these really cool little wallets that are RFID protected that um, you can get engraved with your name across the front. This is this one I got before they did the engraving thing. You got the money clip on the back and you put your credit cards in here and you can just push up to access your cards. And I thought, oh my gosh, that fits in this little pocket here. 
And I thought, oh, wait a second. I haven't tried this one yet. This is our phone holder. You can get these engraved now too. And the phone holder just comes out like this. And you can set your phone on it sideways, up and down. Um, you can use it. Now that we're getting back to travel, you can do this and put it over the tray table on the, of the seat in front of you and stick your phone on there. If you put it down to ground level, you can now put a Kindle on here. You can put a, um, a tablet on here. Uh, and it holds it in place and I don't know if you can see but they've got these little rubbery bits here and inside this piece here and on the foot as well now until I got my phone holder up the front there which is really really cool um, I was using this in the cup holder and yeah I kind of had to pack it a little bit and yes my phone did fall off at times but it didn't go far but for, my, for the most part it held the phone there and I can actually put that in that little back pocket there with the little wallet so it now means that when we go on our little trips, um, I've got my phone holder there should I need to have it on a flat surface for whatever reason. And then this has such a large capacity here that I can put a bag of treats in here. I could probably fit a bottle of water in there as well, maybe. I don't have a bottle of water to try. But you could probably fit a bottle of water in here, but it would definitely take the size collapsible bowls that um, I use for Zephy, because she uses the smaller ones, and they would fit in here as well. So you can actually pack this up for an outing where you've got your phone, you've got your um, phone holder in the back here, you've got your wallet here, you've got your disposable bags. Keys would end up having to go into this main part here. Um, and then you could put a bag of treats in here. You could put um, the um, small collapsible bowls in there for her water, um, have a water bottle with you as well. We have these really cool water bottles. We have, um, this, is a, this is the 18 ounce one. So you can completely customize the front of that. And then we also have the 40 ounce ones, which you can engrave with the name on it and then carry it with this. And so then you zip all that up. And now, oh, and then this has a five and a half, five and a half foot leash on it. And because it's for, because it's for the bigger dogs and it has a really good um, lobster claw, I think they call those ones. And again, you've got the handle here that you can either just use that to control the leash or you can put your hand through there and hang on to it this way while the dog leash goes off the front. So this is Zephy's new toy. I'm probably going to end up using the bigger one um, when we do um, when we go out in the car and things because I've got places I can put things. I hate carrying handbags with me but you know this one here with the leash on it, not a bad thing. And um, so this is really good. It's a three-in-one leash and this is the large for up to for, oh, for over 40 pounds and this is the small up to 40 pounds and since Zephy's 36 she's kind of borderline on these ones <laughs> although knowing the amount of time she tugs this would probably be the better one but we're going to give it a try tonight we're going to go out I may do the smaller one because I just take my keys with me um, and my phone I've got another pouch that I put that on um, but so these are the new um, dog products that we have at Mailbox Power which is really really cool so what do you think of these pretty cool huh so small for up to 40 large for over 40. Where's my model? Zeph, want another treat? Come here. Come on. Come back up here. So which of these do you like? Do you like this one or do you like the small one? You're going to take whichever one the treat's on, aren't you? <laughs> Good girl. Um, so yeah, so we were super excited to get these today because I had seen them on the video, I think it was last week they were released, um, and they arrived yesterday or today. I can't remember which um and so i was super excited to get them and can't wait to actually try them out with her to see which one um works better with her when we're out walking around the dog park um sorry, dog park, around the rv park and yes when we do go to the dog park i'll have it with me as well but the cool part is that in the dog park they want you to carry your leash with you at all times and um you see people wandering around their neck and all of that and i thought this would be so much better because i can just wrap it around although this one yeah i can still wrap this one around um and I've still got all my bits and pieces with me and I've got an extra carry handle on it. So um, very easy to, um, you know, I've got everything I need in there and um, along with a leash. So it's sort of like you can use it as a little handbag and it doesn't just come in pink. It also comes in green and um, camo. And I wanted to get one of the camo ones, but Zippy was not against that. It was against that because it didn't go with her heart, her pink harness. So we had to go with pink. Um, <laughs> tried to get her to get a pink one and a camo but she said no it doesn't go with my harness I want the pink so um that's our new thing for Zephy today and we'll try it out this evening when we go for a walk so that's it from us for today 
um, let us know in the comments below. Uh, oh, if you want, if you want to know how to get one of these, private message me, and um, we will get you all hooked up and squared away with those. Um, let us know in the comments below what fun things you are up to this weekend. Did you want another one? This is your last one. Come on, come here, come here. Good girl, sit. Good girl. You want to shake? High five. I'm going to shake instead. Okay, there you go. Good girl. Gonna make you work for those. Um, <laughs> See, that's going away now. No more. You had your fair share of those today. Um, yeah, so let us know in the comments below what fun things you're getting up to this weekend. This weekend I have Mastermind tomorrow. Then I have Sunday off. Um, and we're already talking about maybe going for a drive on Sunday. And uh, the, sc oh, the screens on the RV, somebody asked me about those today, are working really well for the parts that are screened. Um, so... Um, on the screen we've got the screens on everything except for the two side windows up by the passenger and the driver and across the front the reason being is because i have a 2006 fleetwood bounder gas and they sent the screen covers for a 2005 fleetwood bounder gas and when they switched from the five to the six they added a foot to the wind to the front window so um yeah the ones they had aren't gonna fit and they made the side windows a little bigger as well so um they'll be in on tuesday they're getting installed on wednesday and um, but so far today um, the parts where the screens are on have worked extremely extremely well so um, yeah, we're super excited about those can't wait to get the front ones on because I can get rid of the rest of the reflectics but it was nice this morning to be able to come out open up the blinds um, which we haven't been able to do because the reflectics has been on it and to have natural daylight coming in was kind of cool as well um, so yeah it's been a, it's been a very fun day um, this weekend too, we're <coughs> excuse me, finishing our Lord of the Rings trilogy. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me, at the last half of Twin Tower, Two Towers to Watch, which has my favourite scenes, and I, for some reason, I like the second one the best. I, I, I prefer, I prefer Two Three One in that order. Um, I like the second one the best because, and and I know my cousin and her husband are going to kill me because they can't remember the name, and they're huge Lord of the Rings fans. But there's those those tree things the tree guys that i love um i like all the scenes with the tree guys in them and i don't remember what the tree guys are called so and i know my cousin if she sees this is going to call me out on it so sorry anna uh, <laughs> i can't remember the names of them um but they're these tree guys and they are just super cool super fun and the scenes with them in them are really really cool and i just love the way that they um they did those scenes in them too and um so yes yeah, so we've got second half of that to wash we've got watch um, Return of the King to watch and then we're done with the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I'm pulling out the calligraphy set this weekend to um, learn to do some calligraphy and then that's the last two Fridays and then my Friday fun thing today was to oh I wrote it down it was something I can do damn where did I put my book oh I can't remember what I had to do this morning but I did write it down it was something fun well I can't go back through the can again. There's 60 something things in there, maybe up to 70 now. Um, but I can't remember what my fun thing is for this week to do. But we'll probably knock it out this weekend too if we can. If we can, because I can't remember what it is. <laughs> anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Let us know in the comments below what fun things you're doing this weekend. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring and um, click the bell. Um, ding the ding the bell. Click on the bell if you would like notifications of when we um, upload new videos and everything. And um, we will catch you guys back here tomorrow morning for Shake It Up Saturday. Hey, Conera. End video. Oh, there we go. Nope.